352 meg downstream on my small 4k fire stick mag so ever since getting my new 4k fire stick mags i've been debating do i really want to get a wi-fi 6 router or router as that is one of the new features of that fire stick now dynlink are selling this uh, ax3600 router which does support wi-fi 6 it's fully backwardly compatible with older wi-fi standards and it really does seem to have some cool features under the hood now for the people that don't know wi-fi 6 does have lots of new features not all just about speed things like allowing more devices to connect to the same network efficiencies in how the data is transmitted improved supported distance and more now as you can imagine the td uk household does have many connected devices phones tablets computers fire sticks nvidia shields just lots of devices all connected mainly on the 5 gigahertz network but some also on the older 2.4 gigahertz network and all of that is powered by a netgear xr500 router so it'll be interesting to see how this dynamic router which costs less than half the price of the netgear how this performs what kind of speeds we can get and how it handles all of those devices connected at the same time now i'll do a quick unboxing in just a second but we can see the core features here that it has the greater Wi-Fi supported coverage up to 4,800 square feet. This is also rocking a Qualcomm 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor. Now you can imagine that as your router is doing all of the work, as it's managing those connections, as you're making changes to the web interface, all of that does require processing power. So if your router is running a slow processor, then all of the devices connected, all of those connections, it would struggle under that load. So It'll be interesting to see how this Qualcomm processor performs. Now this also supports easy setup. I know lots of you just want to literally plug and play and this is actually set up using a smart app. So whether you want to do this on your iPhone or your Android phone, you just use the easy smart connection app and that should quickly allow you to connect your router to your existing setup. Now in terms of compatible phone devices, as long as you have an iPhone 11 or newer or you have a Samsung S10 or newer, all of them do support Wi-Fi 6. So, so you really can max out your connectivity by using one of those smartphones. But again, as the router is backwardly compatible, all of your older phones or older devices or older tablets will all work with the Dynalink. And it's important to mention that this does not contain a modem. This is what you plug into your modem to then distribute your Wi-Fi or your internet connection around your house. So this is the box that comes in, Dynalink Wi-Fi router, Wi-Fi 6, AX3600, works with your smart assistant so you can use your voice to give some control to the unit we can see that very large coverage of 4800 square feet up to 3600 megabit wi-fi speed connect over 200 devices and it comes with those embedded air gain antennas and we can see it's fully backwardly compatible so this is wi-fi 8011ax which is wi-fi 6 but also works with wi-fi ac and then ab g and n let's open that up so we get a small welcome pamphlet and here is the new router so it has a Dynalink branding at the front on the back here we can see we have four gigabit ethernet ports so this is where you plug in your LAN devices and this is where you'd plug in your internet so from your modem you'd get a single ethernet cable plug that into here and then this will then distribute that input or that internet to the rest of the devices in your house here we can see we have a USB 3 port so if you, you can plug your USB storage or USB hard drive into this and that storage will then be presented to all of the devices on your home network, whether over Wi-Fi or over Ethernet. So that's the unit there. We get a flat Ethernet cable and we get a quite chunky power supply with the Dynalink branding. Now for the setup process, just install this smart application on your iOS device or your Android device. Select your model. So mine is this one here. Click on confirm. It tells me to unplug a few things. Let's click get started. Yep, we've done that next. Okay, and now it wants me to scan a QR code underneath the device. So let me do that now. So after that quick scan, I just configured my 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, typed in those details. And as you can see here, it says we are now up and running. Enjoy network. Okay, let's click on that. And straight away, we can see we are prompted with an update. So it's so great to see that Dynalink are releasing updates. So if any issues discovered or bug fixes or performance tweaks, they can push an update directly to your device to resolve those issues. Okay, it says that the update is now complete. I can click on OK. And there we have it, guys. We can see we now have 16 connected devices. But I'm sure as more of those devices reconnect to the Wi-Fi, they'll probably go up to like 30. 
Now, I personally don't like using these smart apps to configure my devices. I always prefer using a web interface on my PC. And with this Dynalink router, it does have its own web interface. So, so here we are on my 4K Fire Stick Max. As you can see, it did lose network connectivity whilst we made that change. But I go to network settings. And because I use the same SSIDs in this new device, it means all of my devices that were configured with my old Netgear router can now automatically connect to this one. That's now all connected. Let's now press the home key. And let's try a quick speed test. Now I know with my previous Netgear router, I used to get around about 200 meg downstream. So let's see if Wi-Fi 6 really makes any difference. Let's open that up and we can see guys. So using Wi-Fi 6 on this Dynalink router, we are now getting close to 300 meg downstream, which is way above what I normally got with the previous Netgear router. 300 and 52 meg downstream on my small 4K Fire Stick Mac. So you can say for sure that Wi-Fi 6, you know, with the right hardware, you will see a good difference in your performance, in your speeds. And as you can see on my 4K Fire Stick Max, where normally I was getting around about 200 meg using this new Dynalink Wi-Fi 6 router, I'm consistently pushing over 300 meg with the best one being so far 352. In fact, I'm gonna do it one more time because I really am impressed with those speeds. One last test. What's the final test using my 4K Fire Stick Max over Wi-Fi 6? talking back to the Dunlink Wi-Fi 6 router. And again, we've gone over 340 megs. So really impressive speeds. And the great thing is Wi-Fi 6 is not just about speeds because as I mentioned at the start of this video, there are other efficiencies with how data is transmitted. If you have lots of devices on your network, whether they're five gigahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, all of that management, all of those connections are handled much better, more efficiently using the Wi-Fi 6 standard. So overall guys, I'm impressed with this Dynalink Wi-Fi 6 router. Not only do you get the latest Wi-Fi standard, but it also improves your connectivity for your 2.4 gigahertz devices. It had a very, very easy setup process. It did improve my Wi-Fi connection speeds on my 4K Fire Stick Max, but also on my iPhone and other Wi-Fi 6 devices. And all of those features would be great, even at 159 pounds. But Dynalink are doing a very special promotion starting on the 20th of January. You can actually pick up this Wi-Fi 6 router for only 119 pounds. So at that price, I definitely think it's worthwhile checking out. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you're interested in this device, then I will leave all of the links in the video description. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know if you are going to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6 or if you're happier with the older standard. Really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.